Okay, everybody, welcome back. This is East High School Orchestra Tube, and this is March the Resistance, the viola part. I am now looking at measure 71 to 92, your third excerpt there that I want you to take a look at. Again, we're going to start sort of towards the end. Look at measure 86. You've got a really big jump there. It's a second position shift, which you have to find with your fourth finger. Um, particularly nasty, meaning that you can't just pull it out of the air. It's not one of those. You, do, you have to study where your first finger goes. And in this particular case, you want to put your first finger on C sharp. What I would do is find D, move my second finger there. Now I've got my second finger on D, and C sharp is right behind it, a half step. Now I'm going to build up those four notes that I need to find quickly. So C sharp, there's D, there's E, and F. So we're in this pattern right here. I can't do it without holding my fingers. There we go. Okay, in that pattern. So if you build it, find D, and build it, half step, whole step. That's the pattern. Okay, so the way I'm going to practice it is I'm going to I'm going to find that one and just find that that is a major seventh interval because it's right underneath the octave. So I'm going to practice. You can do it a couple ways. You can practice. that way a few times and then go straight to the one. And then, then try the shift, trying the fourth finger. Right, and then going to have to do is, is try building it backwards before you find that fourth uh, finger F natural. Um, the only thing I can tell you is I'm going to actually measure the distance to that C sharp and then I'm going to hover and I'm going to build that, that, that pattern super quickly um, and it looks like this. Okay, um, it's not pretty, but it will happen if you give your muscles enough time to memorize it. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, this whole excerpt from 71 to 91. Again, paying attention to the fourth fingers and also the dots where necessary. Uh, 70, before I start, 72, 73, you've got some big string crossings. Okay, you want to use your whole arm, not just wrist, but you want to think shoulder when you change strings so that okay. Bob me get into some strings because I played a lot of cello but just think about this motion rather than just your fingers or just your wrist or even just your your elbow it's the whole thing moving together okay lower for the A string, the D, and I'll do everything at the frog, okay? So here we go. Good luck, have fun, it's a great viola party, enjoy. <laughs> 